We've heard it from time to time, perhaps from a new buyer looking for a deal. It's just hand tools, right? Or maybe indirectly from the latest overnight tool company foray into the market. We got the same thing, only different, at a cheaper price. But you know better. It's not just hand tools, and they're not all the same. Malco is an inventor and manufacturer of specialized tools and accessories that improve productivity and promote the health and safety of hands-on pros who use them, an objective unchanged for over 65 years. We focus on true innovation and continuous improvement. But a great product idea and design can only manifest itself via quality manufacturing processes. Join us as we take a manufacturing journey with a Malco tool that cuts across multiple markets, the aviation snip, namely the Max 2000 and Max 2000 Classic aviation snip. The distinction between the two is easy. The original Max 2000 series features an ergonomic design with an engineered handle opening and action to fit small or large hands. The other, the Classic, is a wider opening retro handle design with torsion spring action as preferred by a core of pros in the field. Both SNP series feature the same Max Premier performance, which is what our journey is all about. We will feature the industry preferred offset design for our representative models. Let's begin with blades. All Max 2000 and Max 2000 Classic SNPs feature blades that are fine blanked out of 5 mil steel. The die used to blank or stamp the almost quarter inch thick material cuts from the top and bottom. The extreme pressure causes a slight flow or extrusion of the steel in the blanking process to create a cleaner, more precise edge through the entire cut. Heavy lubrication is obvious in the blanking process and floor scrubbing machines are kept busy throughout the manufacturing floor to maintain a safe workplace. Heat treating whether oven-baked, so to speak, in an ostempering cycle, like our fine blank Max blades, or mar-tempered by heating in a neutral salt bath and quenched, like the forged lower blade of Max offset aviation snips. The objective is the same. We are changing the molecular structure to create a more resilient steel that can also be machined. These qualities translate into tool performance characteristics such as impact resistance and the ability to hold a sharp cutting edge grind on the blade. All of the various Malco tool grinding operations require dedicated fixturing. Here for example we see the cutting edges of the Max offset forged lower blade being ground at one station and the edges of the fine blank upper blade at a second station. Inspection gauges Dial indicators and fixtures are used at the workstation to quality check blade dimensions, the arc blade edge for proper crossover, and the grinding position for fit in the center. Additionally, a manual grinding operation is employed to add serrations to the edge of the fine blanked upper blade to ensure controlled, precision cuts. This secondary operation has significantly transformed the raw blades. After oiling and air drying, the finished blades move on to assembly. A seven-stage progressive die is used to form the Max Snip steel handle components. This 160-ton press is hitting the die with 80 tons of force. It is only after the seventh hit that the press-formed handle is complete. In addition to first and last articles, a sample handle part is inspected at regular intervals during the run. Gauges and inspection fixtures are used to check the integrity of all handle dimensions. In addition to the quality assurance of the part, this data is also used to monitor the condition of the die. Most Malco hand tools sport a nickel chrome finish on the handles, as well as many head components on the business end of the tool. Crimper blades, shown here, are evenly spaced on racks with a solid copper spine and suspended from a copper bus for superior conductivity in the plating process. The first of many baths removes any residue before the wheel part cleaning begins with an electro-cleaner rinse, followed by a hydrochloric acid bath, rinse again, 
another sulfur bath, another rinse, a sulfuric acid bath, one more rinse, and finally, a dip in the positive and negative charged nickel plating tank. Plating is then followed by a double rinse, hot water bath, air hose dusting, and a light oiling before air drying in a hot box. Unracking the parts understandably gets white glove treatment as the parts are boxed and staged for assembly after this precision process. In the case of the MAX 2000 and the MAX 2000 Classic aviation snips, this somewhat elaborate plating operation is only employed for the handle latches. MAX handles are protected with a black E coating, E for electro deposition. Tradition is our only explanation for the black handle coating, but it's a durable finish. The e-coating process is comprised of seven steps and uses detergent showers and rinses before and after the electro deposition coating. The max handles are then conveyed to a tunnel-like oven and slowly emerge, continuing on to a packing area. Every coated handle is visually inspected. Samples of first, middle, and last pass handles are tested for film thickness and cure. A scratch test is used to check adhesion. Handle components are then carefully layered in boxes for safe handling and storage and when staging for assembly. Handle grips for Max snips are formed with a thermoplastic injection molding process. Thermoplastic takes many forms. The grips of MAX 2000 and MAX 2000 Classic snips are of a cushiony quality that complements the more even flow of slicing through metal. More rigid, fiberglass reinforced thermoplastic extrusions are reserved for handle grips used on tools such as Redline, where users may apply more hand force or where the operation itself generates some amount of recoil. The press shown here produces 150 tons of pressure to ensure a clean, molded grip with no flashing. Grip fit is monitored at the press. The sprue, a remnant thermoplastic pattern of the mold fill points, is fed into a granulator for recycling. This recycled thermoplastic is introduced into the press hopper in carefully measured amounts to preserve the virgin quality of the molded grip. Malco assembly processes are arranged in efficient work cells. The associate, working their cell rotation, is accountable for the entire assembly and packaging of the product. The MAX 2000 offset cell flows in this order. A fixture is used to rivet handles and insert grips. A compression spring is added to the handles before they are riveted to a head subassembly. The latch is quickly checked for easy clearance and no hang-up. Shaking the snip checks for any rattle and roll. And a light box is used to visually check the blade gap adjustment. A test cut to check for easy material grip and flow is followed by a manual tipping operation to ensure a clean cut out to the blade tip. And finally, the product is sleeved and boxed for shipment. The bulk of Malco hand tool packaging uses a stitching process on a durable clamshell enclosed card. Card printing is done on the factory floor and product information is timely and accurate. Tools are positioned handles down, extending below the card for inspection and grasping, allowing for a confident buying decision at the point of purchase. However, traditional packaging sleeves have been reintroduced for MAX 2000 and MAX 2000 Classic aviation snips. This packaging exception was made based on market feedback, which revealed that aviation snips are subject to more scrutiny by professionals who have observed some ebb and flow of aviation snip quality in the marketplace. Malco invites all industry users of snips to fully inspect our full line of MAX 2000 and MAX 2000 classic aviation snips. We've made inspection easy, and you'll like what you see. Malco. Our mantra is work, perform, outlast. And nothing else outcuts, outmaneuvers 
or outlast Max. 